guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lana so in this video I'm going to be talking about tax I'm not going to talk about the whole body of tax I'm going to restrict myself to taxes involving individuals and companies so taxes are levies imposed on individuals communities trustees sole proprietorship companies by the government to help the government at every level, the federal, the state, and the local government. And there are bodies that govern these taxes, the Federal Board of Inland Revenue, the State Board of Inland Revenue, and the local government authorities. But definitely, um, generally what we know it as the Federal Inland Revenue Service, this, this is the body or the agency in charge of collecting this money. Paying taxes is not an easy to thing to do at all but it's a civic duty in the sense that when we give remit our taxes the government in in return and provide infrastructures good infrastructure road light um, good education health care for us so it's like a, a give and take situation you give something and you get something back in return that is why tax is very important so i'm talking about i'm going to be talking about taxes governing companies and that is the company income tax these are levies or um these are levies imposed on the government on the profits a company makes the turnover after all expenses in a year so tax um for companies that make um 100 million turnover in a year they are being taxed 30 percent of that turnover for companies for 25 million in a year they are being taxed 20 percent and uh, as as your profit reduces I, I think the margin of the percentage reduces that's basically for companies uh, mind you it is not advisable that you use your personal bank account for business transaction because it is your personal account will be charged differently from the way a company account will be charged for individual sole proprietorship partnership trustees families communities um, the tax that govern them is the personal income tax and the way it is charged is totally different from that of the company so for the personal income tax your first 300k deposit um, 300k your first 300k not deposit your first 300k you are being charged seven percent of that your next 300k you're being charged 11 percent of that 300k you see that it's different it's four percent higher than your first or uh, your initial 300k then for your first 500k you are being charged 15 percent still different from your 11k and your next 500,000 you did i say 500k okay fine 500,000 <laughs> you are being charged 19 percent for your next 1.6 million you are charged 21 percent and then for 3.2 million and above you are charged 24 percent so it is not constant like that of a company so please do not use your personal account in any way or in any form for businesses because your personal account might have things like provisions and all that and we still have these huge deposits in it so this is how you charge you're being charged for a personal income the value added tax was not popular when it became popular when the government increased it from five percent to seven point five percent value added tax which is popularly known as VAT these are taxes on goods and services being purchased not for basic goods and services but for luxurious items maybe when you go to a hotel to rent a room or you buy a, a wristwatch an expensive wristwatch or you get a fancy jewelry or um cars phone expensive things those those goods are vatted and services maybe um yes yeah, services provided maybe by a legal counsel um an architect these are things that are taxable on that VAT so you must you must be charged VAT for it and the chargeable amount is 7.5 yes 
for goods that are being manufactured in Nigeria or goods coming into Nigeria, they are all vatable. So this is vat. So when you are conducting your business, know that if you are doing an import, you vat is on your goods. If you're buying imported goods, vats are on your goods. Goods and services. For example, if you buy rice or buy yam in the market and you come to cook it on your house, fine. There is no vat on that item. But as long as you go into a restaurant and you want to eat, you know, your pounded yam and you want to eat your rice, your jollof rice, trust me, you are paying VAT on that. So that is a, just what VAT is, is as simple as that. Withholding tax. Withholding tax, these are payments that are due to um, companies and individuals for um, receiving or let's say providing goods and services, whether you are resident or non-resident in Nigeria. So this is basically it. They are due dates for the payment of taxes in Nigeria. You cannot just be running your company like that without saying, okay, I'll pay tax whenever I want to pay. No, government has dates for every tax you pay.